I get these cars all over the place, but I buy them myself. Everybody knows where there's some $500 car that might run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rebecca Bass, and I'm an art car artist that loves to work with kids. The kids wanted to do a Texas artist, and it's a tribute to one of Texas' own, Stevie Ray Vaughan. One of them said, well, my dad really likes Stevie Ray Vaughan, so we decided to do that. I grew up listening to him. My dad loves his music, has pretty much any album you can think of of his. Well, Stevie is over here. We do a metal frame, and then we make the whole body, and I put clothes on him. We needed something to kind of flow through the car to make it all cohesive, so we decided to do a real Texas thing and do rattlesnakes. We're symbolizing some of his songs. This is for the telephone song. They didn't know what a telephone was, and I told them they're missing. They're sure missing it when you get mad and you get to slam down that receiver. So we have Boot Hill, the Bumblebee song, which I thought was really cute. We have this beautiful armadillo that, that's gonna be climbing up the Boot Hill. And I'm working on a little piece called Life by the Drop. It's a song that Stevie performed and wrote. I've got these two girls that are making all these Nopalis because it's Texas. And then we have the guitars on the front that Noel is working on. Mancuso's Harley Davidson donates all their leftover chrome and stuff to us. This is Longhorns that we made out of tailpipes. Charming Charlie's for the past couple of years has donated their jewelry that's been left over or they didn't use to us. And we get these big boxes and piles of jewelry. She's working on Mary Had a Little Lamb. So we're doing the bead work with that. My students come up with the most amazing things ever. I mean, I get taught every year. It sparkles so beautifully. She will just kind of give you a piece of the car to work on, and you pretty much have free reign to do whatever you want. None of it really makes sense, but it all looks really pretty together. During art car season, I am totally an artist. In certain ways, everyone can be an artist. We're creating our own pieces by hand, so yeah. Every inch will be covered. You won't be able to see the car underneath it. It's painstaking at first, but once you kind of get into it, it's really fun. These students don't do it for credit at all. They get nothing but fame and fortune. I tell them I'm going to make them famous for five days. I absolutely love her. She's been an amazing role model in my life. She's helped me with so much. I started my first art car in 1990 at Edison Middle School and I have been part of the art car community here in Houston for a long time. And this is art car number 32 that I've done, so. It's hard to say favorites. One is Atomic Dog was wonderful, and it was a tribute to George Clinton. Rolling Stones, that was epic. We had all four of them on top. I've won first place or, or mayor's cup every year the kids have entered. I want them outside the car to be in the parade so they can drink in the 350,000 people that are downtown cheering them on. I mean, it's very intoxicating and wonderful. And it's really rewarding to hear people say like this is amazing I can't believe you guys did this I graduated last year and I've just come back this year to help out whenever I can they're here weekends and of course spring break and they're up here working like crazy I love it that's why I come here every day <laughs> it's so delightful to see a group of human beings that have nothing in common get together and they do something incredible. You know, we created this family and we're all really close. I really love these kids.